And Chesterton also spoke to Lewis on patriotism. In his copy of Orthodoxy, Lewis wrote, quote, the literary men outside all literature, 174, presumably because he wanted to remember this passage where Chesterton is critiquing those who want to feel everything so freely that they even break away from the ordinary limits of home. Listen to this. The ordinary aesthetic anarchist who sets out to feel everything freely gets knotted at last in a paradox that prevents him feeling at all. He breaks away from home limits to follow poetry, but in ceasing to feel home limits, he has ceased to feel the odyssey. He is free from national prejudices and outside patriotism, but being outside patriotism, he is outside Henry V. Such a literary man is simply outside all literature. He is more of a prisoner than any bigot. For if there is a wall between you and the world, it makes little difference whether you describe yourself as locked in or as locked out. What we want is not the universality that is outside all normal sentiments. We want the universality that is inside all normal sentiments. So Chesterton reminds us here that there's nothing particularly noble about achieving some state in which we can no longer appreciate the good gifts that God has given us as human creatures uh, in home limits. So Lewis picks up on this in his book, The Four Loves. He says this. With this love for the place, there goes a love for the way of life, for beer and tea and open fires, trains with compartments in them and an unarmed police force and all the rest of it for the local dialect and a shade less for our native language. As Chesterton says, a man's reasons for not wanting his country to be ruled by foreigners are very like his reasons for not wanting his house to be burned down, because he could not even begin to enumerate all the things he would miss. It would be hard to find any legitimate point of view from which this feeling could be condemned, as the family offers us the first step beyond self-love, so this offers us the first step beyond family selfishness. You'll note there that Lewis even paraphrased a Chesterton quote from The Everlasting Man, um, which is just pretty cool to see. But Lewis would also go on to say, quote, How can I love my home without coming to realize that other men, no less rightly, love theirs? End quote. So rather than local affections being bad or harmful, they're actually humane and they're natural. And with a little imagination and empathy, a little imagination and empathy, they can actually help us love and respect people from all over the world.